Hello and welcome to Polish Stitch English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. Today we will sew extraordinary beauty. What? Someone said, baby, what are you talking about? Is it really possible to make something decent out of this pile of old tipper jeans? I didn't believe it myself at first. To begin with, let's sort these old jeans by color. I only need the brightest. In our work, we will only use the good, strong places without seams and abrasions. The jeans stretch. I know that craftsmen try not to use such because the fabric gets deformed. But this is not a hindrance to my work, but rather even a dignity. Iron the denim and cut it into strips 50 cm long and 8 cm wide. We need 15 of these strips. And yet, from colored fabric, I have a simple coarse calico and will prepare strips 5 cm wide and 50 cm long. We need 14 of them. From the remnants of denim, we will prepare strips 50 cm long and as wide as possible for the reverse side. We will arrange all the strips in the desired order. Let's connect them in pairs, denim and colored stripes. For convenience, we sew all the details at once with the garland, one after another. We do not break the threads. I stitch by the width of the foot. Expand and iron the stitched stripes. There were 14 of them. Further work will be done on a basis. Take a piece of auxiliary fabric for the basis, 50 by 50 cm. We pin a strip of denim with a width of 8 cm and length of 50 cm. To the top edge, we will sew the prepared strips with a colored part on it. Determine the seam location. Align the bottom edge of the loose first denim strip. Combine with the bottom edge of the colored part. Then, at a distance of 3 cm from the upper edge, we outline the seam line with a water-soluble marker. We pin the details with pins and lay a line. The color of the threads should match the color of the denim. We lay down the next colored strip. You determine their order yourself. This strip should lie like a step. The distance from the top edges is 2.5 cm. And this top edge covers the connecting stitch by half a cm. And the bottom edge of the colored inner part should match the denim edge on the previous row. We pin the details with pins. And from the top edge, at a distance of 3 cm, draw a seam line. We also sew on a sewing machine. According to this principle, we work further. Sew all the subsequent strips. The most important thing here is to work carefully, not to rush. I saw the idea on an Indian website sewed by a man, but naturally I greatly simplified this masterclass, removed some unnecessary operations, reduced fabric consumption, reduced work time and adapted the dimensions and calculations. You see what an interesting canvas we get, like an accordion. Denim outside, colored inserts inside. We took the bases with a margin. The finished canvas will be 44 cm wide and 50 cm long. If the already sewn edge interferes with work, you can roll it up with a tube. Why am I not flipping the canvas? 
It is necessary that all the strips are sewn in one direction, so that the details do not lead. Iron the resultant blank and trim the protruding colored edges. The length of the workpiece is 50 cm. Find the middle and draw a construction line. Then, from this center line, on both sides, after 10 cm we make more markings. Three lines are obtained. Let's get started with the design. We start from the edge. We just stitch the part vertically, first on one extreme side, then on the other. We don't touch the middle yet. The folds are all directed downward. And now, at a distance of 10 cm from the laid seams, closer to the edge, draw an auxiliary line. Let's process to the most interesting stage. We lay a line along the outline auxiliary sideline. At the same time, we turn the folds of the fabric so that the colored part opens. In the same way, we will sew the other edge. We open and turn away these colored steps. I think you understand why we left such a large supply of fabric on these sides. When we turn off the parts, we get a corner. The size of the parts is reduced. The workpiece already looks very interesting and intriguing. But we will continue the work. We will lay the seam along the central line. Bend it back, open the center of the workpiece. Here the fabric no longer allows you to make a wide lapel, but how much it will turn out. Of course, you can play with the color of the details, so not from denim. Now let's get down to the design of the reverse side. I have pieces of denim, we will assemble a canvas from them. Seam by seam. We put the details face to face, but the edges of the one part protrudes by half a centimeter. We lay a line, after that we unfold the parts, bend the free edge and lay another line. Of course, this is the wrong side, the inside. But I do not like sticking out threads, let all the seams be sealed. I found a short lightning, but that's okay. On both sides we add this length with strips of fabric. From the front, jeans, and from the back, a simple coarse calico, so that there are no thick joints. We sweep the prepared zipper with a needle and thread to the lower, narrow part. So on a sewing machine. Then we will make a finishing line. Add the zipper to the top piece. Now we check the side of this blank. We will hide the zipper in the flap. Let's make a fold and fix it with pins. Now we will fix this fold, at the same time fixing the zipper and making out the flap. We will lay the seam from the seamy side, focusing on the line along which the upper edge of the zipper was sewn, seam into seam. And on the front side, a very nice neat valve is obtained. We made the front side with a small margin. Now you can trim and trim the excess edges. It remains only to fold the details of the front and back sides together and lay the stitch. But before that, you must definitely open the zipper. 
we will process the open sections with a zigzag, trim the corners and cut out our pillow. And now you can enjoy the result. The pillow is charming, whatever one might say. What's on the front side, what's on the back? Just lovely. And who would believe that we sewed it from old jeans? Of course, new fabrics could be taken, but it is much more interesting to give new life to old things, from which we have already grown or which are out of fashion, and the fabric in them is very strong and in good condition. I wish you all pleasant candy crafts, new unusual ideas for creativity and a good mood. I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. See you in the next episode.